Hi everyone. So our next measurement in the microwave bench setup is a phase shift measurement. Phase shift measurement. So when a wave is going to be propagated inside the rectangular wave guide or any type of wave guide, uh, we can say the propagation constant when a wave is propagated, a wave is propagating inside the wave guide, inside the wave guide, when a wave is going to be propagated inside the wave guide, it has, it has a propagation constant propagation constant which is gamma so gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta what is gamma propagation constant alpha is nothing but attenuation constant and beta is nothing but phase constant now what is the parameter we are going to calculate phase constant so this is our necessary uh, this is our necessity parameter beta so beta is phase constant phase constant so in the previous video i have explained uh, how to determine the attenuation so there we have studied completely about the alpha parameter and here we need to study about completely the beta parameter which is nothing but a phase constant okay gamma we know which is a propagation constant so that's why uh, beta can be expressed as already we have calculated this in the previous cases beta can be expressed as beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda g beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda g what do you mean by lambda g where lambda g is guide wavelength where uh, lambda g is nothing but guide wavelength okay that means the wave which travels inside the waveguide it has having a guide wavelength because it is related to the parameter which is inside the waveguide that's why it is guide wavelength and 2 pi is nothing but it radiance that exists uh, between that means we are writing this guide wavelength that particular uh, one cycle that means 2 pi radians okay so now we are going to calculate what is the amount of phase shift offered by uh, different different uh, devices see here this is the way how you are going to construct your bench diagram uh, this is the microwave source where the electromagnetic signal is going to be originated okay microwave source is nothing but it is a device is a device used to generate the electromagnetic signal the output of this one is given to h plane t junction we have two or three different types of t plane t junctions one is a magic t h plane t junction e plane t junction among these three he has used h plane t junction in two ways so one is here another one is the here so that means one passes the information and one is collecting the response. So the output of this h plane t junction is connected to network whose phase shift is going to be measured and h plane t junction's um, second output is passing through the attenuator and then calibrated relation phase shift. See in whatever we have done in the previous case like a measurement of uh, we, attenuation in the same way we are going to calculate the uh, phase shift also see here network whose output uh, consider this uh, first path the output of this one given to attenuator followed by network whose phase shift is to be measured network whose phase shift is to be measured so now we are connecting a device here we are connecting a device here what is the amount of phase shift we are going to calculate at this particular point Again, in the denominator section, nothing but in the bottom layer, we have h plane dejunction output is passing through attenuator. So, as we have taken through the attenuator, uh, 
definitely the output of this one is passing through a calibration rectifier calibration uh, phase shifter this calibrated phase shifter output is given to h plane junction these two are combined together because we know the output from the port of, um, 3 when 1 2 are inputs so that is combinedly uh, that is coming out from this h plane junction uh, and then it is given to slotted section carriage slotted section carriage we know very well this construction is similar in all the different uh, waveforms so different uh, waveguides so slotted line and slotted section carriage output is given to termination other uh, output of this slotted section carriage is given to crystal detector or power ratio crystal detector or power okay now see here what happens how many signals are coming two signals are coming one is coming from this uh, first path another one is coming from the second path so what happens now take it as first equation take it as second equation now the second equation is nothing but here we are writing that equation in terms of cosine sine soidal signal because uh, because it is an electromagnetic signal instead of writing the uh, equations uh, now i am going to show the uh, waveforms okay so waveforms that is coming from the first path and waveform that is coming from the second path let us see these two waveforms after passing through the slotted line carriage the crystal detector and it reaches the cro okay cro is a display unit the output of these two because one is internally we are having another one is we are applying internally we are having that is nothing but a network whose phase shift is to be measured another one is passing through the calibrated precision phase shifter for which you are go for, through which you are going to calculate the phase shift see this is the signal due to first path this is the signal due to second path okay so signal due to first path signal due to second path now we have a phase shifter here see here we have listen carefully we have a phase shifter here so take the knob of this phase shifter outside and rotate slowly until you get the phase difference between these two is equal to zero phase difference between these two equal to zero this difference must be zero then only these two signals are superimposed each other then there will be no problem okay so initially some delay some gap is there in the second signal that's why we need to wait we need to uh, make the speed up process or otherwise we can we can uh, stop this uh, the first signal for until some days uh, some duration so that uh, this signal will start at this point or this signal will start at this point so then the phi must be equal to zero okay so what we are doing here we are slowly rotating this calibrated pressure rectifier there is a front panel knob so we are slowly rotating this rotating this um, front panel control whenever the phase uh, shift is going to be zero that means there we have the reading that shows the phase shift between these two signals that shows the phase shift between these two signals okay see that then means what happens this signal is going to be superimposed on this one then all uh, both the signals appears on the same okay suppose if the microwave source is different another type of signal is coming then also some phase shift will be there then again we need to make that phase shift is equal to zero so this is the way how you are going to calculate the phase shift okay it is like your uh, attenuation measurement second type of attenuation measurement rf substitution method okay in that case also what we are doing first we have passed the, there we have done it two ways there we did not use this h plane dejunction uh, two way two times first we have done one experiment we have calculated the power later we have calculated the second experiment by connecting the additional component for which you are going to calculate so that type of individual performances have been seen but in this case we are going to see both the things will be happening on the same platform by connecting the device called h plane injection so that is the advantage of h plane injection h plane injection combines the signal giving the output and again 
H client signal divides the output and giving to the different networks. That is the advantage when we go to the H plane T junctions. Okay, so uh, this calibrated precision shifter will give the amount of phase shift offered by this setup. Okay, thank you.